Today on This American Dice, Zombie World. Join a plucky group of survivors as they attempt to survive a zombie apocalypse on Zombie Farms. So this is Zombie World. This is, um, let's see, it's powered by the apocalypse kind of thing. So it's based on that apocalypse world and all that, which you've played before. So it's kind of similar, mm-hmm. but they use cards instead of dice. Okay, I was going to say, do need a dice? Yeah. So let's see. I think what we have, what we know so far is that uh, I think it's a few months after after Z Day, after zombies started happening, okay. and we start with uh, there's like an enclave of survivors that have just kind of hunkered down shel- into shelter, and we've picked ahead of time the farm. Okay, I'm called. I've been. I named this game Zombie Farms. Okay. As Perfect. like a fresh field farm. I was going to say, are, so we're raising zombies? Yeah, that exactly. The, the um, well, that's good. Yeah. We'll farm the table stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this and just... Yeah, well, you're going to go into it. That's yeah. Fine. So before we start characters, we're going to actually make the farm itself. Oh. So because we're at the, the farm... Oh, and here's a beautiful picture of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here's nice. a windmill, at least. Cool. Okay. So zombies we get hate windmills. So the farm has comes with two um, kind of abilities... That we can uh, the farm deal with. Abilities. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to make you jerks read this. If you want to just read, uh, I guess, the perimeter and then pass it along to sure. read the second one. Perimeter. When you scout the area around your enclave and set up warning traps, draw survival. On a hit, you're protected. You'll have fair warning before any threats arrive. On a triumph, everyone in the enclave can clear one stress as they relax. On a miss, you spot signs that something has already crossed your perimeter. Yeah. Okay. And fertile fields. When you take the time to plant, tend to, or harvest your food, draw survival. Uh, on a hit, when time next passes, you can clear a food scarcity or hold three. I don't know what hold three refers to yet, but all right. Spend your hold to offer food to an NPC from another enclave and take a triumph on the ask an NPC for help move. On a triumph, hold one now as well. Now, none of this is making any sense. <laughs> On a miss, you require special chemicals or supplies to tend to the fields. The GM will tell you what you need. Yeah, so kind of uh, to su- summarize that, it's, you can deal with other enclaves of living people easier by, I guess, trading food and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But So we start out with those two, but we get to pick a whole bunch of other things. So this little card, you can draw on it with dry erase. I'm going to pass this around. Mm-hmm. and So it's a list of scarcities, um, surroundings, population, and advantages. Okay. And what we want to do is add, um, like draw, I guess, two, add two to each category. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our scarcities are, we have a scarcity of suburban comforts, of privacy, and of weapons. Our surroundings include a quarry and a significant cave system. Our population includes a local farming family and a group of stranded tourists and a state trooper. And finally, our, the advantages that our hold, our enclave, I should say, has is that we have a bunker here and we have a water source. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Um, and these are the, the extra things you get for those two advantages you picked. Cool. Um, you want to read one of those out? You picked oh, one, right? Sure. The bunker? I did pick the bunker. Let's see what that is. So, I think water source. When you usher yourself and others into the bunker for safety, draw survival. On a hit, you are safe. The door is treated as perfectly barricaded until something changes. On a triumph, the safety is palpable. Everyone inside can clear one stress. On a miss, you find evidence that the bunker's safety has been breached. Okay, cool. Do you want to read the water one? Sure. All right. Since you like it so much. You and the water. Mm. I almost If you love the water so much, marry it. Um, When you you fetch water for for the enclave, draw survival. On a hit, you can bring bring back plenty. Everyone in the enclave can clear one stress. On an edge, you inadvertently draw danger. It follows you home. On a miss, something is wrong with the water source. The GM will tell you what that source... What has... Soured this resource. So nice. Oh, no. I read that wrong like three times. <laughs> all right. The word soured as sourced. I did too. It's, like sourced, really it's a dead sourced. body in the water. We all know what it is. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Is this hexavalent like chromium? Some. This is going to be an issue a few years down the road. If we can make it. Yeah, all right. Got all that. I'm Aaron Zombovich. Let's, let's 
make up oh, these. That's, good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Let's make these characters then. So what, what is your, you're a refugee. I'm a refugee, which means there's also four additional refugees here. Awesome. I'm a visionary. Oh. I have a vision for the future oh, of this place. Okay. We're going to have problems. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Well, I'm a guide. Uh, I just I just lead other people through danger. So that part that part we're not going to have a problem. Yeah, no problem there. I don't know That's what your problem is. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, That's so sandy cool. Yeah, do you want to you draw your uh, population now? You get four of them, I think, right? Yeah. So... Okay, I also got to come, come up with a name. Do we have the other well, population yeah. that are here on our farm? The the, the ranger uh, and the other no, people? No, not yet. No. Oh, okay. uh, real quick, where do we think that this farm is? I was curious about that as well. That's a good point. Is it like out in like like Oklahoma or is American it a... Midwest. Yeah, like... Yeah, is it is it a Midwestern farm? Is it like a Virginia farm? Where are we? Where are we? Ooh. Where are we putting this? Colorado? Yeah, I mostly want to know for possible a- annoying accent ideas. Oh, I, I can only do Austin. a southern I, I should have known. I can only do a southern accent, so Sandy's going to be from the south no matter where this is. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> He's going to have born, I'm, been I'm born and lived I'm on this farm. West Virginia, yeah, if we got uh, the right. bonkers in the cave system. I'm cool with West okay. Virginia. West Virginia I'm, I'm cool. cool. West Virginia. I don't have a specifically Appalachian. Appalachian? Accent. Yeah, like accent. Yeah, he doesn't have one on, on hand. He's I don't, have, make one. One I don't really have one aside from just like cartoon hillbilly. Right. right yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah. Okay. It's all right. Yeah. But okay. That, yeah. That was partially to help me come up with like the concept for like who the hell is this person supposed to be? Mm-hmm. All right. So I get I got to draw four of these people from my population that are the other refugees that showed up with me. Yeah. And then okay. just keep them around you. They include Leo Clark, who I drew last time when we played this oh, game. Well, you can. That's fine. All right. And I don't, I don't know if I shuffled them at all. So give, give them a shuffle. Going to be all yep, four. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, these are the exact people I drew last time for this stuff. Damn, TJ. Can I do this? Is, yeah, is that that's right. You just do a little cut, and then they're all going to be new people you've never seen. <laughs> well, that was a cut. I didn't want to go crazy. That was a cut. <laughs> Why don't you let the magic card player? I'm, I'm, I'm never going to I'm never going to get graduated yeah. from magic camp. This is, right here. All right. this is all I do. This is all I do. So we've Shuffle got cards. Monty Hudgens, the photographer. Mm-hmm. That's a face. That's you know, only, a only mo- her a grandma. A mother would choose to, to, to call to, Monty to shoot. Yeah. Um, Janae Lawton, the electrical technician. Oh, okay. that's sure going to help us on right. the farm. Uh, uh, I'm going to say that Yawa Khan or Can. Oh, she's a junkie. So oh, junkie. Fun. Oh, she's a junkie. Well, cool. I'm glad that we've got some representation And here. Kirby Castleberry Hunter. Kirby. Of course it is. All right. Yeah. Kirby Castleberry. Eh? I like that name a lot. It's a good well, name. That's a good name. All right. So we at least have these folks, and we're going to get more in a second. But now, now is the step where you can add your stats now that you kind of know your your past and your um, your current role. So okay. you... you yep. uh, uh, I'm them. going with exactly what I was going to go with. That's <laughs> perfect. Now, if you have... Kind of, oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You have kind of um, an idea of your character. This is the time that you uh, we're going to go around and just kind of introduce them. Because now we're going to... The step after this is going to be the relationships. Okay. Like how, how we're connected to each other. So what's kind of... Um, so we'll start with Brandon over here since you have a name. I mm-hmm. see. Uh, do you just want to introduce your character? Just like the details that... If we're watching this on a movie, like we would see instantly, like maybe your demeanor, your appearance, mm-hmm. and I guess go over your role again, if you so choose. My present thing, that is that what you mean by role? Yeah. Okay. R O L E. Yeah. You're right. Oh. I was like, oh, maybe you think I'm talking about dice or something. Yes. No, I did. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I'm Troy McDovin. Uh, I'm kind of a like a six foot, like kind of gruff, like. Um, kind of grimy, grimy like uh, early fifties guy, um, and my my role is that I'm a visionary. I keep on going on about how we can make this place safer for us and everybody else, and how we can we can really make this place a home for everybody. You know, I nice. uh, love that's it. the baseline. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Um, so my name is Addison Outland. Uh, I, uh, um, you know, I, I, I know my way around farm country. I've been around farms, uh, my whole life, uh, just grown up, uh, knowing these people, good people, salt of the earth. And, uh, so I know how to, how to help. And I'm just a fairly like confident guy when it comes to 
laying out what we should be doing and, 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 you know, who should be going out and that sort of thing. It's, I just, it's just, you know, I know these things really well and I, uh, I am, uh, uh, happy to, to help out. And, uh, what does Addison look like? Oh, Addison's a little older. Um, uh, you can't tell quite how much older, but, uh, <laughs> but older, uh, but he's definitely had some work done. Oh, okay. uh, he's a little uh, like uh, he's, he's got like like no brow wrinkles and and uh-huh. kind of like big white teeth. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, that's me. But uh, like you know, uh, but you know, gray hair. You can't tell if he's had plugs or not. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, you know, like he still has a good deal of hair, but like a weird amount of hair for how mm-hmm. old he should be. But again, you can't figure out how old he is. That's us. I'm just thinking Nick Cage right now. I fucking was just about to talk about Nicolas Cage. <laughs> that's actually that's a really good picture. A grade up uh, Nicolas Cage, and that's that's pretty much where we are. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I was just watching the movie The Humanity Bureau, which if you no, haven't, I haven't seen, seen it, this. it's very bad. You should see it. Is this one of the it's Cage like a, movies that he's made more since recently? The, yeah. yeah, right. And uh, his hair looks like the hair. He's because he's. He's certainly balding, yeah. but he would look less weird if they just had him have his regular hair. hair right. Instead, they give him this pitch black hair that looks like the hair of a Lego man that could at <laughs> any point just be totally sucked off his head. And not yeah. like a wig, but just no. like, like a, oh, right, a classic yeah. Look. yeah, and they're like, we need that's a new a, one. He chipped this. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Jesus Christ. That's hilarious. Humanity that Nicolas Bureau. Cage. I was like, okay. fuck. All right. Yes. I to see that's that a, that's a good way to think of me. I, I, I like it. All right. Um, All right. Um, Kelly Fine. Cook. Kelly Cook is a man. All right. He's one of, one of those men who has the name Kelly. And uh, Kelly Cook uh, came in with this group of refugees who had been living in a nearby settlement, but that um, it got uh, overrun. And so they fled here, and it was um, maybe kind of a, a few, uh, let's say like two or three weeks that they were on the road. And they came into into the farm here, um, here to, to Sandy Colton's farm. And uh, so Kelly Cook, and I think he mostly just goes by Cook, hmm. has been um, trying to help out as much as possible. He's um, been encouraging the folks that came with him meant, like to kind of get involved and help out as much as they can. So they're trying to not make themselves kind of like a burden on anybody. And and these refugees kind of, just kind of come from the nearby city or something? Like just a collection of people? Yeah, so I think the well, the five of us all came from the same previous se- uh, like enclave. Oh, so, 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 there was another, run over. so there was another thing that got overrun, right. and I think that that what? had been a... Uh, the, fuck it, just to keep the continuity. It had been a hospital. Ah, okay. So it was a hospital in like whatever the near... the nearby like biggest city, which I said was like... It took us, maybe because we couldn't drive there, couldn't easily get whatever. It took us like a week or two to get to this farm. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Love it. And um, what does he look, look like? like? Yeah. Um, so he's wearing, I think he's he's a guy who's, um, his clothes are like extremely dirty. He's wearing a shirt that um, at some point was probably white, but to most people now looks like it is either like was gray or brown or some kind of tan color. Um, <laughs> because like, uh, it went up like an undershirt kind of thing, or no? It's like a dress shirt. Oh, gotcha. So he oh. Wearing, was wearing like he was probably wearing a white dress shirt at some point, but now it's like very, very dirty, and um, he uh, is wearing, I think, jeans that do not fully fit him. So like they're like maybe too big, and he's got so he's got them like cinched up with a belt, um, that kind of stuff. But if you look real closely at the at the white shirt, you can tell that it's actually like a like a higher end mm. shirt. Mm. Okay, a hint. Yeah. So there's just like a like a, like a like the equivalent of like a like a Ralph Lauren polo guy kind of thing. Or it's probably not even that high end. I'm not really aware of what. Very nice. I don't know what high end clothing is. is. Uh, yeah, a rougher and shirt would be sure. would be pretty good. Yeah. I, oh, I do want to throw out. You mentioned name, and we were talking about the age, and I did want. There is sort of a hint in my my name. Addison is typically a woman's name. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you if you uh, were unaware, uh, except that it's one of those names like like Meredith. Oh, that was a popular uh, that, like, certain used time. to be used to be sort of a guy's name. Mm-hmm. Like you like mm-hmm. if you go back far enough. So anyway, yeah. okay, uh, yeah. Oh, and I think oh, interesting. 
I think Kelly is probably in his. I feel as I've as I've gotten older, my age ranges have been actually less interesting. I feel he's probably Nine. in his mid thirties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like okay. All right. Yeah, that sounds about right, though. I mean, surviving and so on. So yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. All right. That makes right. sense. Cool. So you're like the youngest one of the trio here. Apparently, yeah. Interesting. No. And how uh, old are you? I don't know. I said, said like 50s. early mid fifties. Early mid fifties. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I rolled with. Right. No, that's good. Oh wait. Yeah. What was your role again? Oh, the guide. I'm the guide. the guide. I'm the guide. I'm the guide. I I just you know I know my way around a farm. <laughs> that's right. I mean, well, the, the owner of the farm is here, so obviously oh, yeah. he's he, he really knows. knows. But I'm perfectly happy to help you get out there and show you how to do things and so. <laughs> nice. So. We also get randomized um, oh, relationships. Cards. So this is the this one here is between you two. So okay. Go ahead and flip that up. Uh, okay. All right. right. So Go we are so the relationship side. Two of you agree that a third member of the enclave should be in charge. Who and why? Oh, I don't agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know that's right. <laughs> Wait, time passes. Oh, yeah, ignore that part. So that, ignore that, that's that part. How that goes Just away. ignore that part. Okay, so the two of us agree that a third member of the enclave should be in charge. Well, it, uh, it is the is the is the owner here? It, like he's a member of the enclave, right? Like yeah. he can decide mm-hmm. that he's the thing. Yeah. I would I would think so, that we think that the owner should yeah, be in charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm he say, owns it. So he's the form. one making all the decisions here, right? Oh, yeah. it's all his, his right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna mess this up though. I'm, I'm gonna say yeah. he's the, he's the kind of the leader right now. Yeah. But he should be the leader. Also but he should be the leader. He should we be the leader. That. There's no reason he shouldn't be the leader. Oh, I mean, to, to make it more dramatic, though, I feel like... There is also that state trooper who's here. <gasps> That's true, Oh, yeah. the state trooper. Wait, state. we agree that... So so basically what it is is we, we can't think agree somebody that else it can't else. be him. Yeah. We think somebody else is in charge. Okay. All, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come with me, come with me. The junkie? <laughs> who, who seems to be... Wait, is the state trooper... Do we see the state trooper? He's not like out yet, but he's here somewhere. Uh, no, Ooh. there's no state trooper. Although there was one thing that was something similar. Let me see. There's a guy with dumbest plus DC and bleep. Unmanipulable yeah, yeah. person. I don't want to say the junkie, but. Probably the junkie. Probably the junkie. That's probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably yeah. the junkie. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yo, a car. I'll be honest. I think that it's time for some female leadership. Yeah. I think that it is time that we acknowledge the diversity <laughs> of this country. Uh, and, and honestly, I think that Yao Kahn, like, you know... She, she's got an air about she's her. She's got it, yeah. She's, she's been to the very bottom. Yeah. Uh, she can... Exactly. We need <laughs> people like her, uh, you know, that, that uh, uh, can obviously... Um, <laughs> Austin's Okay, <face. laughs> interesting. What an interesting idea. <laughs> hey, hey, he is a visionary, okay? He sees things, he knows. This is the new world okay. we're creating. This is the new, new world, world we're creating, creating. Right. exactly. We don't need to hold the old stereotypes. Yeah. Plus, yeah. they're really good at math, and I mean, we might need math. So I'm just yeah. saying, like, you know, it's a thing. She's got that skills. See, again, my, my yeah, guy might be way older than you're all thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce him? Um, I think you've been saying Yao. 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 I was thinking Yao. Yao Khan. I don't know. Yao Khan. I was thinking Yao. Yao Khan's good. No Shao Khan jokes or Mortal Khan. No, no, no. We're not. No, no, no. We're away from that. Again, Yao Khan should be the Mm -hmm. the leader here. So I'm getting the sense that she's very charismatic. She. She's doing so she might be easily manipulatable. So are you you okay? um, (laughs) (laughs) This is slightly different, but are you okay with. Because you picked the. uh, What was it? The state trooper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being a marshal? I think sure. that's the I have. Yeah, that seems uh, yeah. fine. Just so I can yeah. have a card. So we don't oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the faceless name the person that's there. Margot the, Samuel. Margot Samuel. Yeah, not her. Right. I don't know. She definitely won't do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can change that later, because although yeah. I think the junkie might work out pretty well. So how about between um, Addison and Cook? All right, between mm-hmm. Addison and Cook. The two of you have done something awful for the Enclave. What was it? Oh, what did we do for the Enclave? Okay. Let's got some. So it was on the way in. We probably ran into each other on the way in. Ooh, that sounds right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, there was someone else that was uh, like a refugee with you that would have been coming into the farm that that we knew was not. It was like a drain on the. Yeah, it was going to be a real problem. Now here's the question. Were they a real problem, like, morally? Were they, like, dangerous and sketchy, and it was like, oh, my God, we got to take that person out? Or was it like they were, like, in a wheelchair? 
Oh, or were they, they, were they just disabled in some mm, way? Oh, oh boy. But either way, we, we threw them off a mountain. It's like, oh, you can't bring that baby in here. <laughs> like, yeah. Either way, the two of us. Oh, we threw them in the quarry. <laughs> oh, no. Two of us tossed them in the quarry. quarry. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm yeah. good with this. I'm good with this. Um... Yeah, I'm 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 liking this. I don't know which one is more God, which one is more interesting there. I think I I think for the way I'm I'm thinking with this character, they would they would push up that like like oh this person is this person's messed up and they're bad. They're they're bad. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're yeah. Bad this person, person. This yeah. person's just sort of a so there was like a guy um um Yao's husband. Yao, oh. well, uh, not even like husband, but like like, like it was like a like boyfriend like or something. But like kind of but super fucking like sketchy. Like you know, fighting blah blah. blah. We oh, let him over to the quarry and fucking threw him in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Possible yeah. 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 All right. Nobody knows that. Nobody's really talked about it. We said that he got uh, no, like, that he got got. Like basically, we were like, oh, we were running back and zombies died and see what happened. So, uh, does Yao know? No, no. No one knows. No, no one knows. We've got that. It's two of us. We're keeping that. Yao yeah, doesn't know much of anything, I don't think. Uh, so, <laughs> so I mean, she should be our leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So, this is kind of coming together is, was um, Addison part of these refugees as well? Like uh, Addison hospital? sort of met up with them right as we got to the yeah. farm. So like, like, like yeah, it wasn't. Like so, a couple days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What if it was, uh, since um, you said Addison is really Knows his way around a, a um, like oh, farm really well. My way around a farm. Yeah. Maybe you met up with them somewhere else, and it's like, oh, if we go to a farm, then that's what. That's oh yeah. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I could have said, you know, this is good. This is good farm country. I can lead you to a so, good farm. Yeah. In this town, I led you to one very specifically because I thought. Well, I won't get into it. But either way, uh, Yao should be our leader. But now we're here <laughs> yeah, she really in, the, uh, oh, in the farm. Shit, maybe that, that's why you think she should be a leader is because this is kind of like guilt. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Is, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have a very specific... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, do, do we have a name like for the deceased? Oof. Oh, we should have a name for the deceased. Can we pull him? From Gregor, a, from a deck? Greg, something. Greg, 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 just Greg, 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 Greg's just good. Greg. Greg's good. Right. Greg is dead. Greg is dead. <laughs> Greg's dead, babe. Um, so, all right, dead. now you. Yeah. That's dead, man. <laughs> so Anything dead. about that? You that too. Seems good. I think that's it. I think that's good. I think. All that's, right, that's I all can all read it. Okay. Yeah. The two of us. So Cook and Cook and Kit. Oh, you're. Cook? I thought you were Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Cook. Kelly Cook. Kelly, Kelly Cook. Cook. My yeah. bad. My You're bad. Kelly Jeez. Cook. Yeah. Uh, Cook and uh, Troy McDovin uh, see each other. See you, the two of you each see the other as a threat to the Enclave. Okay. Why and why haven't you acted <laughs> upon it? Interesting. Please, by the way, that was rude. Fuck me. Um, I think that mine's... I think mine's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> I think both of us, given that we don't know a ton about each other... Um, I don't even think you're a refugee. I think that you have this like confused. I, oh, I think your vision is just confused. That it like it it mixes up a combination of like like it, it keeps vacillating between the like what's best for here and now, like very pragmatic, and, and then like, and way then, like too, way, way too far, far in advance of like. Yeah. And I think he actually thinks you're pushing a Yao Khan as like the leader. Like if I don't know if that's secret that you guys have been. Yeah. Well, no, no, we're doing that now, but we'll get to that. Okay. But so I think that yeah, he some some of the stuff, some of your visionary stuff of like oh, super far off in the in the future, we'll we'll do these things, and it's like the two ideas keep fucking with each other, keeps in at least in Cook's opinion. But why haven't you acted on it? Why haven't you done anything? Oh, um, because oh, I told, I'm because to. I told you not to. Ooh. Sure. Because I, I told you if you do. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna oh, tell him. Yeah. Girl. Basically, I was like, dude, leave him alone. Mm-hmm. Let him. Let him do his thing. Don't okay, worry about it. Don't worry about it. But I keep keeping you down on that. Okay. But we've got this thing, so I can talk to you about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That works. What about you? Mm. Why do you think he's dangerous? And you're the visionary, theoretically. Mm-hmm. Does he like not fit into the vision? I think. Uh, first off, he's not a believer. But um, yeah. also, uh, is this a religious. Vision? Uh, I don't know if that's like he just I doesn't believe that we're going to be successful. But also, I think um, this is going to be kind of weird with me. So I'm, I want, I'm pushing for Yao as a leader for very selfish reasons because we both think she's easy to manipulate. Um, oh, I yeah. think that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> this, this is coming clear now. Is becoming, <laughs> I understand now. Um, I think uh, 
Troy thinks right now for this colony, a lot of these refugees are not good news. We can't just keep on having refugees come to here. This place can only sustain so many people. Oh, so and it's just a population showing question. up. Okay. And how are we supposed to take care of these people? Yeah. How are we supposed to feed these people? How are we supposed to have water and protect these people? And like half of them are useless. Like, what's an electrical engineer do in a place with no electricity? Yeah. Well, well, it's probably, it's probably electricity. That's okay. Not a lot of it. No. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Makes okay. sense. Yeah. So he basically, he, he like, so you haven't acted on it because essentially it's one of those plans that, that's kind of broad. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, broad. eventually like, we're going to have to call some Eventually we're going to have to, well, we can't. All right. Eventually we can't let any more refugees so in. this would also be a reason that you might think that he's <laughs> might, dangerous. Might a little bit of a shit. Yeah. <laughs> he does seem to have just an anti-refugee mentality. Okay. Anti, uh, <laughs> definitely not on the, oh, we should help everybody just because they exist. Right. I don't think that's, uh, yeah. that's Troy's thing. All right. Okay. This is good. This this really plays to me very well. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love this. All right. So then the last last part of this character thing is everyone um, draw and mix them up if you want, but draw another population. And this person kind of is uh, either came with you or since joining the enclave has kind of become your ally. Yeah. Okay. Say so right. this person kind of has your back. They uh, for whatever reason. We'll take your advice. And I do that as well. You yeah, so you're going to have five friends. You're going to have a million friends. Cool. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> what, you, what you got? Oh, my God, it's literally perfect. This fits with my backstory very well. This fits with my backstory <laughs> very well. So I, I've got Hazel Nemeth. She is a high school teacher. She has empathy and instruction and manipulation. Very nice. Uh, yes, and her equipment is a textbook and a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> pretty helpful. That is that is pretty helpful. Well, mine works out perfectly. Mine is Lionel Carpenter. He's a spiritual leader. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice. So his skills are empathy, leadership, and manipulation. He has his equipment is candles and a holy book. Nice. <laughs> I like the idea of him like just not talking, like like you just sort of talk for him. Like like he's back in a thing and you just come out and say shit, but you're like, well, Lionel, thanks. Lionel. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I was gonna make a carpenter's the band joke. Um, yeah. I was like, Lionel, why did those birds suddenly appear? <laughs> Well, I was just going to say that he, he 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 doesn't eat much. Then there you go. Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> eat more light on the food supply. Uh, I have Maya Viswan, who is a medical student, and it makes sense because we came from a hospital. What the heck? Oh, oh, there, there we go. Perfect. Oh, there there we go. go. That's nice. That's so, nice of you to have it. There we go. All right, hey, All that's right. pretty good. Oh, but this was a person who's not necessarily one of the refugees. Um, it's a you can I think so they either came sense. with you or since you got. Into the enclave, they've kind of glommed on Sure. You. Hazel was with me. Uh, we'll just say for now that she was uh, in the pre Z days mm-hmm. um, a, an employee okay. of mine. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, Weird. Yeah. I think this is a. Uh, a farm, so it's like sunrise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rooster's good. Rooster oh. sound. You know what? I bet roosters do make a lot of noise. I bet those are the first things to go. They probably killed them all. They're all wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we would let roosters keep crowing in the morning. That would seems like it'd draw a lot of attention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe okay. is it uh, be like hogs or something? Sure. It's, but we didn't kill them. We just release them out into the forest. That way they'd crow out there and draw oh, zombies yeah. out that way. You Smart. Know? The zombies would be yeah. Called the circle of life. Yeah. Now they're zombie brutes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now they crow and it's way worse. <laughs> Jesus. Zombie Colonel Sanders comes. Like, wait, I have an idea. <gasps> um, but no, so it's sunrise. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe we just see like you know the the placid field. You know, of I don't know. Maybe there's crops there, like rows of crops. I'm trying to think of pastoral things. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, okay. But I would say this is probably park orchard. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's that probably, yeah, uh, there's there's probably um, uh, apples there. And then we also probably got uh, another half that's all, um, it's probably some sort of agriculture. So it's all like it's, it's some vegetable, some something that they would be doing here in, in West. I know the Jerusalem potatoes were really popular for a while up there. 
Um, so it's like or soy. Of the you know what? It's probably soy. If oh, he's yeah. got any substantial amount of land, so it's like he's got like a quarter of it is orchard, and then all the rest is going to be soy. Okay. Yeah. It probably used to be tobacco, but uh, the government, you know, gave him mm-hmm. money to, to switch mm-hmm. over from tobacco production to soy production, so that's what he did. And, Makes sense. Uh, and he and he probably he probably fucked it up because a lot of these people are like third generation farmers who were tobacco like, farmers no that idea. didn't even like farm yeah. their own land. And and uh, and so when this happened, they got all this money and they went, all right, well, let's turn it all into. I don't soy. We don't know what the fuck this is, and they mm-hmm. do it, and they it's spray like it with Roundup, and it wasn't Roundup ready soy, and now it's all dead. <laughs> and uh, okay. that's the thing that happened. I know a guy who, who did that to eight hundred thousand acres in fucking Virginia. Oh, yeah. Um, Oof. But uh, yeah, so yeah, let's. Yeah. So it's, I think it's like a totally clear day. It's like spring or summer. We'll say the sandy's actually pretty good though. It's also like. <laughs> The soy, his soy is beautiful. His soy is good. It. He he did a good job. I was kind of hoping he was one of the fuck ups, and he's not. He's one of the guys who knows his farm. Yeah, it's, maybe the neighbors did that. <laughs> yeah. That's why they didn't right. make it. That's yeah, why yeah, they're neighbors, gone. neighbors did not make it. They they yeah, they're gone. That up. They died. Yeah. Like, can we eat tobacco? No, no, yeah. it's not. Well, guess we die. All right. So yeah. Um, oh, maybe so. In this movie, that we see this like uh, like I was saying, just the sunrise over this um, soy field, I guess. I don't know what that looks like, and neither does the the um, the director of this movie. They're just like that's plants. I don't know. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like. Um, but the writer knew. Yeah. But, and then I think there's like um, it's zoomed in on maybe one of these plants. It's like this is what soy looks like, right? Yeah. But there's like a a boot that stomps it, and you zoom out. And it's just like this dead person just walking, just wandering around this field. Maybe as we keep zooming out, there's like two just. Randomly there, mm-hmm. and um, we zoom out even further to the, I guess the homestead, kind of a uh, like the barn or whatever. Or I guess the barn and then the homestead, and uh, I guess like where's, I guess we'll start with Troy. Like where, where do you, where's your kind of situation, your sleeping situation as you wake up? So one of our things is that we don't have a lot of privacy, right? No, we don't have a lot of privacy. Oh, we all in the in the. I think we're all like we're all in probably like the barn. We're probably all in the probably barn. Probably all in the barn. Mm-hmm. Like sleeping in the hay. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty, pretty much horrible. all there is. Yeah, Sandy doesn't let us in the farmhouse. No. Oh yeah. I think, I think it's basically yeah. his family in it's, the farmhouse. Yeah. Maybe like one or two like close friends that he has. That he, doesn't, by. he doesn't really trust people in the farmhouse there. Yeah. 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 So. Where, where are you? Like, just in... Oh, well, like a horse stable or something? Is that where everybody is? I'm yeah, saying it's a... Yeah, I've, well, it's probably like like horses... Uh, I mean, maybe he actually... He, he might have... Well, he probably has his sheep, but they'd be in a... They're in a paddock. They're yeah, not, like, they're in not a in a barn. So he probably has yeah. some horses or something, and that's, yeah. like, the stables that yeah. we live in. That's pretty much where we are. Horse stables. And, I, <laughs> and, and it shouldn't be an apple orchard. It should be a Christmas tree orchard. It should be... It should be, <laughs> like, like, should be yeah, worthless. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. a quarter of it is Christmas trees. All right. that. Okay. <laughs> so the um, I think that the the barn, if everybody's, if that's where everybody stays, the barn. Well, like, that's where most people stay. But maybe you maybe you folks. Maybe, maybe you've else. got a tent. I mean, like again, if you've been out on the road and shit, you probably have. Like you know, something. you might have stuff for sleeping. Okay. Like an RV or something. Yeah. You know, if we want to make it real walking dead. I, I like the idea of that. Yeah, they just have like um, a bus. <laughs> like to not add to like additional, like taking up additional space. Maybe they've um, kind of set up like a lean-to thing on the uh, on the side of the barn, and right. uh, like they have tents under there, so it's gotcha. like a little bit nicer than just a regular tent situation. So it's yeah. like a little bit. It's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, so but so that way they don't feel like, and I think that uh, Cook had been one of the ones to push it of like, like don't, like, like let's not let's not push too hard. We're 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 newer. Now we're newer in this, and so maybe it's not a good plan that we uh, barge on in there. We can keep keep things out here till we uh, we've been invited to stay on the farm. Maybe not uh, hop into the barn with everybody else or bust up into Old Man Colton's uh, farmhouse just yet. Well, yes, yeah. I guess since since we're focusing here on the the lean to. Um, are you guys in sleeping bags or something at this point? Oh, she's a farm hand. Yeah, yeah uh, I added her, and I'm like, yeah. that probably makes sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I think that they're they have they have some tents that they picked up on the way somehow, and okay. uh, they perfect. Yeah. So, in this as the sunrise, everyone's kind of like stirring. Mm-hmm. Uh, which one of your refugees is also in your tent with you and spent the night? 
Yeah, nobody's alone. Yeah. Oh, for They're sure. I, I think these. I think these folks have like. I think there's probably like two or three folks in some. Oh, I mean, which one did you sleep with last night? The. Uh, I think that. Um, did you sleep with Monty. It's okay, dude, man. It's, it's, it's just too <laughs> too good looking. Um, I think to make stuff more interesting, uh, it was definitely Yell. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah. So, you, so you were sleeping in the tent with yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Right. Absolutely. Good thing you got that husband out of the way. Right? Yeah. yeah. Is this well, the first boy, time man. that's happened? Um, I think this has... No, this isn't the first time this has happened, but it started when we got to this farm. Mm. Mm. And what, it's going to make it significantly harder for you to challenge our plan to make uh, yeah. uh, yeah, well, here. Like you're going to have to be like, well, look, I don't trust this chick. So what's your drug of choice? She's a junkie, right? Yeah. Um, and I guess you came from the hospital, so you, you probably oh, have God. Well, we're saying some yeah. choices. Yeah, maybe an opiate. Junkie, it's probably an opiate. I yeah, mean, it's it's we're, in, we're in West Virginia. Right. Yeah. It's definitely. Yeah, just, yeah. just pills, any kind of yeah. pills. And it's, it's some kind of fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's probably got like a bunch of fentanyl and some mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she had specifically been, um, yeah, like had some kind of like opiate. So thing. does she share with Cook, or is he? Um, Cook has been trying to get her not to do that. He's been pushing her not to to do that and uh, trying to get her the anti pusher clean. Yeah, so yeah, wait, her, I think her dead boyfriend was. Or no, you are? Cook is. Oh, okay, Cook is trying to get her clean so, through this process. Yeah, dead yeah. boyfriend was definitely not getting anyone. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Man. So I think to, to hit it home with this move or this TV, I guess movie audience, mm-hmm. when you unzip this tent and come out, um, we just see her in the background like nude and just still sleeping mm-hmm. just like conked out probably because she was probably sneaking some drugs before okay. that yeah mm-hmm. she'll probably be the last one to wake up mm-hmm. um and maybe these other folks the refugees from the hospital are kind of like stirring too and they you just silently like we're doing some nods and stuff to okay. introduce these characters sure maybe you've got her supply and you're letting her like sort of taper off Ooh. Like maybe you're giving her like a little bit to her like at night to be like okay so that you don't die of withdrawal like yeah. here you go a gonna, little bit I was gonna yeah. say uh, do, do you do you want me to have the first scene um, I was gonna do intro okay. scenes real fast okay. but yeah, maybe so we'll come back that is that is the case I think we do see um, like she's she's conked out. And um, you see, you see, Cook uh, kind of like go into a bag and pick up a thing of, mm-hmm. like, like take out a thing of pills. Yeah, and they're just uh, un- unceremoniously in just a bag, mm-hmm. like they're not in like yeah, a prescription no. bottle. It's you're just, just a bag. Just keep yeah. them in bag. It's like one of those gallon freezer bags. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't think it's a Ziploc bag, like a Walmart bag. Oh yeah. Just oh yeah. Jesus. Oh. It's like thank you. A shitty bag. plastic bag. I was, I was imagining like you know when you like when you were a little kid and you you had the sandwich bags that yeah. don't zip. Yeah. Like that, that has the flap. That's oh yeah, the like, flap. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I like it. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little flap bag that like a shitty weed dealer would give you. Right, right. Lick the thing no, and close I'm, it, and you're like, "That that's, is that's gross." How it that doesn't works. do anything. That doesn't do anything. Yeah, absolutely, I'm it's there. Help, I'm there. I love it. But okay. I'm glad you licked this thing that I'm going to be touching. <laughs> I'm be touching yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. So that's the riff. And what, what are there? Six of them? Six refugees, mm-hmm. wow. including yeah, including Cole. yeah. So a good deal. But now, now let's go into the barn, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's Where's Addison sleeping? So, so Addison sleeps. Uh, I, I, I really need to sleep up in the loft for my for my back. Uh, mm-hmm. Also, there was a, there was a there was a cot up in the loft, and uh, and I, I just I really need it for my for my back. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, um, Hazel's up there uh, with me. Hazel uh, Hazel sleeps on the ground uh, on the on the on the loft ground. Mm-hmm. She's she, she fine with that. Um, she uh, she has a big uh, a hay bale that she was she was using mm-hmm. uh, for the thing, and um, uh, I would say that as we're waking up, Hazel's already up, already been up. Uh, she is uh, just killing more spiders around the barn. That's been mm-hmm. pretty much what she's been doing since we got there. Mm-hmm. And uh, and she's just up in the loft, just swatting spiders. And uh, I feel very rested and and. Well, as I as I typically do, but it's it's cold, and I want into that goddamn farmhouse, but uh, but nobody knows that. I'm just sort of thinking that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, I love that. And so this loft, I think, um, maybe it's just the two of you up there. It's like all the kind yeah, of yeah. I, I I've got well. Right, I didn't mean to take the only place with some privacy yeah, and a cop in the, in the thing, but I just really for, for my back, uh, yeah. like I just couldn't. 
Yeah, possibly. So yeah. Uh, so so that's us uh, up there. It's the two of us in the loft. Oh, and Addison's kind of like just staring, just w- woken up proudly by this hammer on the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Get with a hammer? <laughs> she's getting good at it. You All know. Right. It's taking her a little bit, but she's really good. Yeah. 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 Oh, what, no, wait, what, she have a textbook? She has oh, a textbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. biology yeah, textbook. She is, she is, she is she got smashing shit with a textbook. Yeah, that makes more sense, yeah. Um, and then back to Troy here. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're in one of these One of these horse stables. stables. Yeah, and probably, probably that's where most of these other people are. Because I think one of the um, givens is that there's like 15 to 30-ish people all together in this. I mean, since it's just this one farm, maybe it's less than that, but somewhere between that, 20-ish, you know? And these are the name, the, the credited actors, but... Um, mm-hmm. You're there with, so uh, with your with your spiritualist, you and yeah, you? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, what's kind I mean, of There's only so many, so many stables. Yeah, right, the single yeah. horse right, stalls. Right, the stall, stalls. Yeah, right, yeah, stalls. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so, so many stalls. Yeah, since you must have come here after the fact, too, probably. Mm-hmm. You're like one of the first waves of refugees, maybe. I think so. So what, um, oh, maybe Lionel or you were just like, oh, I, we're a spiritual leader, but we don't want to take a room in your house or something. And probably Sandy, I imagine, is just like, yeah, fuck no. Yeah, why the fuck would you? But so I, I'm imagining like very modest, like Jesus in the manger style. Well, what's kind of these spiritual rituals that we get a glimpse of maybe as you're waking up, either with you or I him. think, um, I think actually, like, I think Lionel and Troy were actually some of the first people up, and, like, Lionel's doing some kind of reading from his book. Mm-hmm. And, like, Troy's just, like, sitting, listening, and maybe, like, one or two other people, like, unnamed people, perhaps, mm-hmm. are just, like, also there for, mm-hmm. like, the morning, like, prayers and readings. Oh, nice. So it's kind of... Like a so tiny congregation. Is it is it his book? Like, is it his own Bible, um, or is it like like the Book of Mormon? Or I something? think that's I think that's like completely left up. I think it's a blank cover. Like nobody ever really. Like, I think so. No one else is looking at. Nobody's it. reading his book. No one else he, is looking at the book. He reads the book. He does the sermon. So who knows? Maybe yeah. it is. Yeah, the Bible. I love it. So nobody. Yeah. So nobody knows. Nobody like, knows. Like, nobody knows enough about the Bible to be like. I, I, don't, I, don't think that's I don't know where this is yeah. from, but okay. Yeah, he's just preaching. <laughs> he just gets up and he reads, and okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's what's the tone of it? Is it like some like real like positive kind of stuff, or is it some like uh, fire and brimstone? It's def- I mean, we're literally in the apocalypse, so it feels like it has to be some kind of fire and brimstone. Like the people we like, came before us, like they society were was slow, corrupt slow, and yeah. horrible, and okay. this is why this is happening. And so it's constant we have to stories be better of, than that. of how terrible people get punished. By yes. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's basically right. it. I like it. I Natural. like it. I like it. Natural. We are, Come on, we are yeah, very much on the on the same wavelength. All right. Yeah. And some of the people are like, I, I've been to church before. I don't. I don't, don't sound familiar. I'm not 100 percent sure about this. Yeah. I love it. All right. So now you said you had an idea for kind of a, a first scene, right? Sure. You see, old cook. Um, like I said, he gets up and he kind of tries to quietly sneak out of the tent. And he kind of tries to like zip it up, like he does that thing where you're zipping something up or opening or closing a gate very, very slowly <laughs> to do it quietly. But of course, it's just louder because it's just, just so loud. Yeah, yeah, it's not effectively quieter yeah, per yeah. se. But so he's doing that number, and um, he goes over only to probably like uh, like there's probably only two, maybe only two tents in the, under this lean-to. Yeah. yeah. Right. And so I think that he and Yao are in, like, the smaller of the two tents, and then the four other refugees. Oh, so Maya, God. Kirby, Monty, and Janae are all in one. Like, one big tent. It's a larger yeah. tent, yeah. for sure, but it's, like, all of them are in there, so it's, like, there's not a lot of... Everyone's real close together. So they're, so they're, they're in, like, a three-person tent, you guys are in, like, a one-person Yeah, they ain't happy about very, it. Yeah. yeah, so... Um, yeah, no one's pleased with the amount of space they have. Uh, but so I think he kind of, like... Gets up to there, and he kind of like like um, like does this number where he shields his eyes to like better see through like the the tent like flap or whatever it is mm-hmm. or the tent screen to see who's in there. And um, I think when he uh, he'll, like he doesn't see who he wants to, and then um, like over over in the corner maybe um, maybe she's just like. Psst like staring off into the distance and wondering about life and what's happened to her. Um, he, he sees Maya mm-hmm. and he goes, he, like he's like looking to go talk to her. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Oh, there she is. I thought she'd be in the tent. She's already up. Mm-hmm. Kind yeah. of thing. Okay. So he'll kind of come up and be like, maybe she's like still, 
I think in that picture that's the case. She's like wearing these probably like dirty scrubs. Okay. No. It's a hoodie. Oh, hi. I think it's supposed to be like a like head wrap a, or a head like scarf. Like a scarf thing. or some oh, shit. Yeah, oh, okay. I think so. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, but so he um, he kind of goes up to her and he's also like, dirty though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and again, and he's he's like buttoning, he's like finishes buttoning his shirt before he like 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 goes up and he's like, my my. You know, it's a weird way to greet somebody. Yeah. Here. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe it takes a, a few times to when you're asking her, yeah, but she kind of just yeah. Uh, Comes out of this fugue. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta ask you something. I know you, I know you were studying to be a doctor, and I, I gotta get your advice. He's like, I got these here, and he br- brings out the pills, mm-hmm. and he basically says like, and he'll basically say like, um, and if she, she, I think like she starts to say what they are, sure. and, he, and he's like, yeah, 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 like, oh, I, I know, I know, I know what they are. That's the uh, if now if somebody's now if somebody's on. Got an issue with these here. Can I cut them down, break it up, ease them off it, help them out? Well, it'd be much better if we could use those for people in pain. Right, but if somebody... <laughs> true, I'm, I'm right there with you. That's why I want to make sure that uh, the person we take them away from doesn't end up in just as much pain. Well, I think... Um, and is it is it obvious, I guess, that yeah, I was a junkie? Or? I mean, one of her skills is stealth. So I'm gonna oh, say no. So like some people know, most people don't. Does Maya know, or does she think maybe you're the junkie? No, nah, you wouldn't. Be. I don't know. Well, she might. I mean, again, might, like, like yeah, might. you're coming to her to say you so. Know. If someone, yeah. somebody, not to out who, there yeah. needed hypothetically to tamper, you know, needed to, <laughs> to taper off of this shit. Right. So, but I, th- I think, I think he's. He doesn't. He doesn't offer that up. We also do live in a world where there's almost no privacy. So if you'd want to say just no, everyone knows. That's fine too. Um, <clears throat> or at least you know what among these people who've like been around each other for a bit, and she also knew like Greg, the boyfriend. Yeah. I think the assumption is that yes, she w- is or was at least on drugs or involved with drugs in some okay. capacity. Sure. So I think Maya is. Um, well, <laughs> I know that. Um, yeah, it was very important to you, but she's important to everybody, but if you, if you need to wean her off of them, you need to do it as quickly and easily as possible, because the next time someone gets hurt, these are going to be very valuable to Colton and to all of us. Right, I'm saying, he goes, I'm right there with you, I'm right there with you. Basically, I'm asking you, from your, from, from your much more expert opinion than anybody else around here, what do I break him up into to make sure make sure we're not a uh, we, we we don't have somebody flipping out on us? She I think she takes like a, a moment of pause and just like um, all right I, I can I can do this for you and try and wean her off if you want I can give you I mean it's gonna be better if I hold on to them anyway just in case something the worst happens I can mm. cut them into specific pieces and maybe just you know ration them as well as we can but you need to do some work too to get to let her know that she's going to be hurting us all if she keeps us up that sounds like sounds like a conversation that uh, I need to have with her for sure but uh, if you if you can tell me what best I can do to do this so that way I can bring you in and bring you into it later on if we need need some stuff but I can help to try to get this you know what uh, what, what, do you, what do you think what's what's the what is the amount of that she'll need to wean off, and then the rest hold on to here. I think she, uh, she very, um, like, not aggressively at all, but, like, takes a step forward and kind of just, you have this, like, the mm. classic bag. She just kind yeah. of, like, takes it, or just, like, holds it. Like, mm-hmm. you haven't let go yet, but she's yeah. like, um, Cook, why? I know, like I said, she means a lot to everybody, but why is she more important than everybody? Like, things have changed. Tell me, why are you doing this? I'm out here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make sure that the six, the six of us come out of that. The six of us that come out of that hellhole um, saw a lot of stuff, and I want to make sure we don't hurt. That none of us get hurt anymore. Taking these away from her cold turkey's gonna hurt her. I want to hold. I want to make sure that doesn't happen to her. So I want us to have these as medicine. I want us to make sure we uh we don't put her in a badly situation beforehand. Okay. 
Yeah, I think that's going to trigger a move. Sure. I'm so, trying to get her to do a thing, right? Well, no. Oh. Uh, so, with your allies, it's different mm-hmm. than regular NPCs. But I think what really just happened there was you opened up to someone. Sure. So when you open up to someone about your feelings or past, draw a soul. Sure. I draw a survivor deck card, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's your soul at? One. one. So I missed. No. No. Oops. So that goes back in the deck, or what happens to that? Yeah. Now yeah, these guys get shuffled. No shuffle, and then I should put the bite deck over here, because I always accidentally shuffle these whenever I deal them out. But these, like the... Um, Jenga, they're not supposed to be shuffled. All right. Um, so I think Maya, now she kind of just takes these mm-hmm. pills and it's just like, all right, Cook, I've followed you this long, but this is my area of expertise. I'm going to try and help you, but you need to talk to her and tell her that we can't have this. She needs to, I'm going to break them up, but you need to talk to her and tell her that they're running out because the rest of us need them. And she kind of, I mean, she's going to start walking away unless you do something. No, I think that he's, uh, I, and I, uh, oh, let's say like, yeah, but how many, how many do we, how many do we have to have so she doesn't, so she doesn't start uh, going through what, withdrawals, DTs? She's like, let me worry about that. And she just continues walking away as if the conversation's over. Yeah, I think that he, uh, with this bag with her. Yeah, I think that he decides to go, he like looks back at the tent, he looks at Maya kind of walking off, and he decides like, well, I guess I better busy myself doing something else. Addison up to so so as we're kind of getting out of the stables I see uh, Addison's waking up and he's like alright Hazel now I hit off with the spider killing like you know I, I think that's a that's a good job today um well goddamn, uh if this isn't just a, a beautiful day that we uh, got in front of us here um but uh I gotta admit I am tired of uh, climbing up and down into this loft just so I can, you know, get my back uh, where it is. We need to talk to Colton about that bunker. Like, uh, I, 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 he's got to open up that bunker. That's the thing, is that uh, we we should be sleeping in there. We'd be sleeping in luxury in that bunker. Uh, you know, like, I'm just, I'm tired of waking up cold. I'm tired of you having to smash spiders every morning. I'm tired of sleeping in a room with, you know, 40 other people, uh, basically. Like, you know, I just, uh, I know that bunker has at least three private bedrooms, uh, you know, and then, uh, and, and, and plenty of bunks. And, uh, I, uh, we need, we need into that bunker. I think Hazel's, uh, <clears throat> I hate doing voices. I think she's, um, like, well, and you know, I, what I'm worried about is that he's the only one with the keys. And if anything happens, he, we gotta wait for him, his old ass, to come all the way downstairs. And what if what if we're, a swarm comes over us? We gotta get in there. You are absolutely right, Hazel. You are absolutely right. This, this is a this is a question of safety for for the people here on this farm. And I'm afraid that his property rights I I I I just don't know that they trump the safety of everyone here. We're gonna need talk to Mr. Colton about uh, yeah. getting that bunker open today, but I think we should talk to uh, to everyone else first to make sure that, uh, well, those of us who are going to fit in the bunker are on the same page. Limited limited space there. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, those that need it should be there first. Obviously. Obviously. I mean, we're going to have to make some decisions about think, who gets to be in the bunker, but... Uh, I think she, uh, like, starts to rub... Like just touching your back, it's like, and w- and with your your condition, I think it's only right. Well, I, I you know, Hazel, you are absolutely correct, and uh, uh, I thank you for that. Uh, and 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 I, you know, I don't I don't want to leave you here on the floor. I know you're you're a good, dutiful worker, but uh, uh, you know, it's it's time that we both got a little bit of rest, you know, like some real rest. So uh, let's. Uh, Let's let's try and figure out who we can talk to to uh, to go to Mr. Colton today uh, about that. And I, I think she does like she's being like very familiar. I don't know if this actually is this usually the case. She she 
is very like uh, physical with me, I'm I do not return it. But okay, uh, awesome. but it. Uh, yeah, it, it it sort of goes that way. I think she yeah. does that, like she does the peck on your cheek. Yeah, and just like, um, well, this this will maybe quieter, mm. as, so that only you, you can hopefully hear this. She's like, well, that old cute has been saving a lot of stuff for rainy days, and I'll tell you what, the the sun's shining, but it's it's rainy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think is. it's time to open those doors. It is. It is time to get into that bunker. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. We just gotta figure out who in this in this thing now. Now here's the thing. Uh there's a young man down there with the uh the one who came in with the refugees. Um he seems to uh well to have have a good good head on his shoulders, good influence on uh some of these people. Um all, I, I all think those, that, uh, all those folks he brought with him follow him like ducks. He might be able to, to help us sort out who goes into the bunker. Um, you know, and then uh, obviously we're going to have to do something about uh, Miss. What's 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 your your spiritualist's name? Lionel. Oh, Lionel. Mm-hmm. Lionel and Mr. Carpenter there. Obviously we're going to have to do something about Mr. Carpenter and his lackey. But, you know, you just you just leave that to me. Uh, and uh, we'll make sure that we're all on the same page by the by the end of this. She just wipes the spider guts off of that textbook and puts it gingerly puts it back yeah. beside me in her haystack. And you said it was a biology book. It's a biology textbook. Yeah. And she's like, well, well, it's a bright new day, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. I think maybe this is when um, I don't know if the the whole the big barn door will open, but just maybe one of the the other ones just letting all the sun in mm-hmm. just kind of swings open and this is when Estella the uh yeah, the farm, the farm, man, the farm man. opens up and is like alright yeah, and she's just like clapping like alright now rise and shine everybody it's uh time to earn your keep we got some problems and we need some help uh more than Estella seems to be the issue we 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 kind of we kind of shy away from like being seen. Like we sort of like duck down, yeah. <laughs> like just to not make it obvious that we're hiding, but like just sort of like maybe she. Won't yeah, I think maybe here. like Hazel's halfway down this ladder coming down, and yeah. she noticeably t- to everyone else goes like way slower. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's like, well, we got a few of them uh, visitors out in the fields. We're hoping to uh, get some volunteers to go out there and deal with that. Mm. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, maybe check on that uh, the perimeter that we got going. Must have got through somehow. We needs like a maybe a refresher. Oh, uh, Hazel and I can uh, can check the perimeter for you. Uh, that that would be that would be just fine. We can go take a little stroll around the property. Uh, from, from down there, she kind of points up and she's like, "Well, that's good. I got one volunteer then." Uh, and, uh, and 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 and. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, we could use uh, some help. Uh, where has that uh, uh, Mr. Cook gotten off to? Have you seen him? Well, I, I passed him and his outside. Okay, well... Uh, Looks like they're just getting up. It'd be uh, it'd be nice if we could have Mr. Cook accompany us uh, on that. Uh, and uh, 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 maybe Mr. Uh, maybe... Uh, what's your name again? Troy. Uh, oh, yeah. And, and uh, maybe, maybe Troy over there. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, because... It's a big job. It's a big property. If we run into anything, you certainly want some help. Uh, well, it seems like uh, you all got everything figured out in here. <laughs> uh, God bless. I think, uh, I think uh, Troy's going to go over to Margot, Samuel, I think she, these three aren't here. Oh, they're not? The Marshall no, Estelle's no, he's announcing this. Oh, yeah. yeah Estelle's Estelle announcing this. Yeah, I think these, she's, she's, she's all these folks in the farmhouse stay in the, She's probably in the farmhouse, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. I'm the Marshall. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that'd be one of the people that he'd definitely want in there with him. Yeah. yeah. I think it should be a good help to help yeah. him go kill his arms, yeah. but I guess not. That door's knockable. Can I... Yeah. Can I we go, we go knock. Can I throw out an idea? Sure. Sure. We, Start this game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fuck this whole set You guys leave. So, my idea is essentially that... Um, the folks in the farmhouse, these three people have a strong like connection and prior right, relationship sure. yeah, with yeah, one yeah. another that everybody else here is like maybe from the surrounding area. And then mm-hmm. my, the yeah, folks right, like right. myself and the other refugees are from like, way out. like the, have known the rest of everybody, like the least amount of time. So everybody mm-hmm. else might be from like the nearby town or they've lived in the town for a little bit mm-hmm. kind of a thing or something like that where, 
they would know each other, whereas we are all new faces. That yeah, makes that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think Troy was the church or something. Uh, yeah, I, think. Uh, I would actually because of something about me, I would actually argue that I don't. I am also not uh, from exactly I mean, this area. Kind of came in with them. Right? They sort of know me. So like maybe they don't know how yet. But anyway, okay. um, but yeah, I, I know the area. Mm-hmm. I've been to the area. I'm I'm familiar but with the area. Local. I'm not exactly a local. Cool. Makes sense. So, yeah. yeah. And we, yeah. we kind of said you guys came in together, you two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. should say Cook and Addison. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, I think Troy, though, is going to go knock on the house because I think he's going to enlist Margot to go help him. Sure. Because I assume these, these gentlemen are going to go. Uh, Cook and uh, Addison are going to go take care of the, the perimeter and mm-hmm. they'll take everything they got inside, I guess. Oh, okay. So you're gonna you're gonna not come on the perimeter walk with us? No. Okay. Gonna, I mean, right. they're actual. Yeah, and I think visitors. When, I think when Addison, uh, when Addison and Hazel go to ask um, Cook, I think like he was kind of getting some stuff ready, and he's like, uh, "Now, Janae and I were gonna go work on the uh, on this. See if we can get this windmill up and go into some kind of generator, but." Well, let me ask you something on that, uh, Mr. Cook. Uh, does Janae really need you for that? Honestly, you got a point. Because I could, I could really use a, a, a strapping young man to help me on the perimeter. Yeah, um, J- Janae, and I think he like asks Janae, like, like Monty probably knows more about more about that kind of stuff than I do. Anyhow, right? Uh, let me rephrase this in my character voice. Mm-hmm. Now, my, now uh, Monty probably knows a lot more about this kind of stuff than I do, right? And I think she probably is like gives a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and so yeah, so he's he's down. Yeah, uh, yeah, excellent. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go take a walk out. Let's do the. Uh, let's follow the sun. Let's do the east side first. Sure. Okay. Um, but before you ventured out, you, Troy was you're gonna. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna yeah, enlist the help. I kind of just gonna. Yeah, I think to. To speed Have this along, I think her. Margo's going to be the one who answers. She's yeah. uh, um, she's the gruff kind of person. Obviously, she's uh, maybe she's like not very tall. Maybe she, she's also like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. five three or something. Mm-hmm. But she looks Jesus. up and it's like just her personality. Water like full seven. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, um, <clears throat> uh, can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I uh, heard there's some some zombies around on the property. Estelle, let me know, and uh, I was wondering if you'd like to. Go out there and, you know, like old times, get rid of some hooligans. Well, I'm the one who asked uh, her to rustle some people up. So, you know, I was hoping some other people could do it, but if you want to try and ask an NPC for help, you can go ahead and draw some cards. All right. So, yeah, to do this, you, gotta, you draw a soul. Yeah. I'm thinking, no, this isn't opening up. So, I guess I'm just going to do one card. That's your soul? It's an edge. So whatever it means. I don't remember what Edge does. On a soul. So, it's like a 7 to 9 in Apocalypse World, kind yeah. of, right? Yep. Um, the GM will tell you what they want. Do it and they'll return the favor. Okay. Mm. So, what would she want? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Were you going to ask other NPCs? Hmm, I'm asking Margo. Okay. Get shuffled in. Shuffle it. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can use both of the things. Um, all right. Um, you know what? I was. Um, Sandy was going to go get some water today, but between you and me, he's not doing so great. So, if, I mean, if you want to make a pit stop on the way back, all right, then we could uh, let him get his rest. All right, man, that sounds fine to me. Is everything going on? Does he need some medicine, maybe? No, just... It's very stressful, keeping everybody safe. Of course. I understand. All right, yeah. So, yeah, I guess... Uh, well, I'm going to go check with him, but as long as he okays it, I'll meet you out in a few minutes. All right. All right. And she just closes the door. Mm-hmm. So, who's on this uh, adventuring party? So, he and all, all the PCs. And Hazel are going around the... We're just going around the perimeter. Mm-hmm. I think we can probably go all together as a whole unit. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Both of them, right? Yeah. But I thought that the zombies were already in. We were going to check the... I don't know if those two separate yeah. tasks or one. Yeah, I, I was taking yeah, those two can, tasks. I think we can... Um, the three of us walk in the perimeter, and the two of them, he and Margo, and whoever else, I guess, is going with him, wandering into the thing to find the zombies. Yeah, we'll get that. What do you guys think? I was thinking that without the knowledge that Margo was going, I think uh, Cook would ask Kirby to come along as like, oh, in case in case there's any trouble, he can kind of back us up. If there's any... Uh, well, do you think those are two separate tasks, I mean? Oh, checking the perimeter and, like, mopping up zombies that are inside the thing? Mm-hmm. That does kind of sound like they're two separate tasks. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. okay. Then we get to use the perimeter and the water source thing. So there we go. go. Yeah. All right, so on the water zombie task. Yes. Um, it is Troy, Troy, Margo, Margo and Sam. that's it? Is, yeah. Is, is Lionel, Lionel stand? No. No, Lionel sits there and reads. Lionel, Troy, Troy would never put Lionel in danger. Right. Mm-hmm. Lionel's, ridiculous. A, Lionel's a goddamn treasure. Lionel's a goddamn treasure. For you folks, it's uh, it's just Kirby. Cook and Kirby. Oh, well, and me and, and yeah. Oh, me yeah, and sorry. Hazel. Yeah. I thought you meant just of this. Yeah. It's Addison and Hazel and, and Cook and Kirby. 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 And Kirby. Yeah. Four of them. Whole bunch of Cook, Kirby, Carlton, Caitlin, yeah. Clarissa. You guys are actually going to fight things. Uh, we aren't, but we're taking Kirby. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds about right. All right, cool. So, um... Let's go straight to these moves. I think, uh, which one? Well, I think the water source could be push this closer to you. Just the, uh, so slightly. Yeah, the water source one could be the more dramatic failure. So let's uh, start with the perimeter. So since you're a farm, you have the perimeter. When you scout an area ahead around your enclave, set up warning traps and such, roll survival. So who is kind of taking the lead on this? Uh, I guess I am. Uh, I've got three survival, and you've also got three yeah, survival. Yeah, and one of and one of Kirby's skills is survival. Oh, wow! Well, a good team. So we're pretty good at this. No, we're pretty good at this. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll draw first. I mean, it's a pretty big perimeter, so I'm assuming that this is going to happen more than. Yeah, it might just be across. might just be kind of uh, figured into this whole thing. Okay, sure. so I draw three. Yeah, for mm-hmm. having three and survival. You pick your favorite. Then I pick the one that I that I want. Mm-hmm. I don't want the miss. So it's either edge or opportunity. Uh, so it's either edge or opportunity. Uh, so if I take opportunity, you basically it's and, I, and I to... add myself a stress, then I then I get a success on something. Yeah, counts as a, a triumph. A full success. So okay. where edge is like edge, a success. This is edge hit. Mm-hmm. Is that right? No. Okay. It's all yeah. the edges are zoomed. Edge is okay, but so. so I yeah, sure I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take the I'm gonna go ahead and take the opportunity. I am, uh, if nothing else, an opportunist. Um, so I'll take my stress, my one stress. Do I just add a stress to my mm-hmm. stress thing? Yeah, just like okay, so I go put an action or something. Okay. And so, yeah, do you want to do like a, a quick little montage of you guys setting up or checking the perimeter and setting up traps mm-hmm. and stuff? Yeah. Like sure. how is that? Is there like a fence or what's going on? Yeah. Well, here's how I'm here's how I'm picturing it because uh, you know we, we you're probably talking about I mean if the guy's a, a soy farmer you're probably talking you know like a thousand acres oh, or more yeah. you know at least wow. so we're going out we're going around the the you know the thing we're probably going like a whole, whole farm we're probably yeah. going so far yeah we got to well we got to do we'll do the we're going to do the the east and the south side fences mm-hmm. uh, the north side uh, might might have like a a mountain cliff, like it might be on like a cliff or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like so that sure. uh, that's that's one that we sort of count as a kind of. We, we don't really expect that's pretty safe. And then the other one, uh, the west side is is the front facing the road. Uh, like so, we don't really worry about that one as much because everybody's sort of looking out at that all the time. So we're just going out of the east and the south fences there. So you're imagining it's just regular fencing. Uh, it is probably it is. Um, what is that called? It's the it's the it's about waist high and it's all uh, um, razor bar. Yeah, uh, it's for it's for you know keeping cattle out. Okay, because I was um, imagining, do we want something like that or do we want 
or is it something that's been put up more recently in regard well, to the zombies? We can be. I think that I think that parts of it we might have started adding like steel okay. panels to. You know, like like you know to. to I was, I was going to say that. for sure, probably parts of the fence have been like broken right. with like various zombies coming through. To, so maybe to be fair, I mean it is a. I mean you're. It's not like here. It's mm-hmm. like here, and it's, and it's all awesome. barbed wire. Yeah. And again, it's not like they jump or anything. Right. So when they hit it, they typically just get tangled in it mm-hmm. like anything else. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was. That's what I was imagining too. And something so that like an animal, a lot of work power. yeah, yeah, an animal like a deer or something like that might be able to clear over. And in the past, that was like an annoying thing to Colton. But yeah. now he's actually fine with that because the deer aren't the thing that like alert us regularly. Right, right, it's instead right. like uh, the the big question I I had was: Is there some kind of like? A noise like her bells That's or okay. something like that so on there. Put in like the it makes tin noise. cans kind of thing, you know, oh around as we go. So like little tin can traps that, yeah. you know, when it hits, you can hear blah blah. That there's, you know, there's okay. that. All the repurposed cowbells um, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like cowbell. Yeah, there's that. We also have some uh, some very large in the in the Christmas tree orchard, uh, which uh, ornaments, is, uh, not <laughs> giant like, ornaments. Uh, it, it's actually it's um. Have you ever seen the really big wind chimes? The wind chimes that are like like this yeah, and yeah. they make like a boom. Mm-hmm. Play is very loud and goes for a while. So there are those uh, uh, in in the uh, thing, and, okay. and and I think Colton sort of refuses to take the maps. They remind him of his old farm, even though we have mm. mentioned that uh, you know you're you're creating a sonic disturbance there yeah. all the time. But uh, that yeah. I mean that leads into I was gonna ask like what's the conversation with the four of you as so, it's going in. So yeah. Well at one point at one point uh uh Mr. Kirby um he sees something uh that looks like an animal uh track of some kind and I say, Oh uh could you show Hazel what that is? Hazel really needs to uh, to learn more about animal tracks, she loves that. She's an old biology teacher. I mean, again, that's her that's her favorite thing. Could you you show that? And as soon as they're away, yeah, I, think, I, I think Kirby kind of does one of those looks at um, uh, what Cook, but then he's mm-hmm. like, "All right, sure, yeah." And uh, the second I got a uh, second with you, I'm like, "So, hey, listen, have you seen the door to the bunker?" It's like I haven't been inside. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I haven't been inside it. Yeah, but you've seen the door. Yeah. You know the bunker is there. I figured that that's what that was, or either that or some kind of storm cellar, but... That is a bunker. That is an actual bunker. I have seen inside that bunker before. Don't ask me how. The point is, <laughs> I know that that bunker can take at least eight of us, uh, but only about ten of us at the most. Mm-hmm. We need to get that bunker open. It is unsafe for us to keep sleeping in that barn or sleeping in those tents when these things are coming through the fence. And so, I mean, you look at what we're dealing with, the miles and miles of fence that we got to get through. We need people in that bunker. Now, Colton is saving that bunker for him and his family for the second something goes wrong. But, uh, A, there's more room in there than just for Colton and his family. And, B, something's already wrong. So we got to get into that bunker. So, I might need your help convincing him that some of us need a space in that bunker, and I don't, I don't want to be the one making the call as to who gets in. Mm-hmm. I want to help. The, I want that to be a, a democratic process. Oh, that one's that one's gonna be that one's gonna be tough. Yeah, but yeah, if it opens up uh, opens up more of a place to stay for folks, people won't be too upset. This is what I'm thinking. It also it clears some space out, so so people have a little more room, uh, you know. And 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 uh, uh, I think people would be amenable to that. And I, I think that people also, um, you know, they just need to come to terms with who, who, what leaders among us need that kind of protection. So that's. That's I just I I need your help in uh, in convincing the people that we should open the bunker, but that it's going to have to be exclusive. I don't think that's I don't think that's too bad an idea. I think the uh, exclusivity here uh, isn't going to be a popular thing with uh, Mr. Colton or nor anybody else. But if we could, like I said, if we could open up more space, I'm all right with that. Here's my deal. If we got folks staying down in that, if we got folks staying down in that bunker all the time, that's like I said, opening up more space is a great idea. But if that bunker is a last uh, is a, is a last holdout in case something goes real, real wrong, 
I'm just, I feel a lot more comfortable knowing that, uh, that the, oh, here it is. (laughs) We're doing great. Oh, and here's, here's what he'll basically say. He'll say, we've been staying up at the, uh, we've been staying up at the hop, the, the county hospital, Mm -hmm. such and such place. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that had been set up as a evacuation, Mm -hmm. an evacuation point, a Mm -hmm. safe, a safe space. And we'd been, we'd been staying there for a while and things got real, real rough. And, uh, in the end I can remember it. And he kind of goes into this like, like intense war story essentially of it. Like, 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 like stuff got like stuff got bad, and there were people who'd already who'd already decided that they were that they were finding their like last holdouts right away. And they didn't keep mm-hmm. any other kind of option open for mm-hmm. nobody. Um, they decided the shit had hit the fan from, from day, day one. one, and then when it really did hit the fan, they were backed into a corner, and those mm-hmm. people lost. They lost mm-hmm. it. They couldn't handle themselves at all, and. Um, Oh, he's going to try to open up. Yeah, to I was going to say, is yeah. this an opening up? Yeah, yeah so he's yeah, going to try to open up. up to me. Yeah, yeah okay. and just say like, just say like, he's just going to express like, I need to know like these people have been through so much. Like the like the folks that come come here with me, they've been through so much, and I know all of us have in these times. But they really need to. We need to know. We need to know that there's that 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 avenue is open when when the time comes. If, well, yeah. hopefully. Uh, yeah. So, so then the so then the the real question is not whether or not some of us are staying there all the time. The question is whether or not somebody can be trusted to keep that door open when everyone has to get in there. And I think that that is the real key: is making sure that we have someone we can trust watching the door. Right now, I just don't trust Mr. Colton to open that door all right. when the time okay. comes. So, I yeah, think, you want to yeah, so troll since soul, I, I think right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. That's my worst. Otherwise, I'm shitty at that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I draw on survival instead of soul because I'm talking about my survival story. Oh, um, do you? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Is that part of your thing? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Three. All right, I got an edge. So on a... All right, well, yep. if you want, oh, since, no. or, um, he's or kind of, misses. since so, he, yeah. he's targeting you, well, keep keep those out for right now. Right now. <sighs> um, you can help him if you want. So you would draw one, but you oh, have to mark stress yeah. to help. Okay, yeah, but you can yeah, draw yeah. one and replace one if you think if you, you can more get better than an edge. Right. Or if you want him to get better than an edge. So well, you got an edge. Oh, so, that's fine. Yeah, but that's fine. You, get, you get to mark one stress, though. I do still think the stress. I forgot to mention that whenever yeah. you help or hinder, you also mark really? stress. Yes. Huh. Yep. Okay. I'm fine but with it's that. okay. So, so yeah. on an edge, I think you both trade, right? Right. Well, it says on a hit... You both do clear a stress. So does he automatically then clear the stress he just took? Uh, no, but you uh, had one before, right? I had one that I took. I had one yeah. that I took from uh, the, the from thing. Yeah. So I have two right now. Yeah, so you actually get to clear one since so, you got oh, the hit. Sweet. Right. Okay. And then uh, and yeah. I choose one of these questions. Yeah, and then on edge, he also gets two. So okay. on that basic move sheet, Trevor, yes. at the... This, Second column on the at the very bottom. Yes. Uh, on an edge, uh, they also get to choose one. You get to pick one of those right after Austin's son. One of the survival cards. No, no, no one of one of those one of the options. options. Yeah. Oh, one of the options. Oh, okay, okay, those cool, cool. Options. All right, so you're going to ask me a question. So I would like to look at your uh, trauma card. Yeah. Okay. Oops. So don't don't reveal it. Don't reveal yeah, it. Right. 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 Was that your phone? <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah, my phone occasionally phone? thinks that I am trying to use <laughs> uh-huh. the voice thing for uh, some reason. And then what do yeah. you from a uh, That also seemed like a like a bad misdirect for a magic trick that I did. Like, oh, was that your phone? And then I <laughs> shuffle <laughs> all this shit around. Yeah, I've, so, okay. so having read my trauma card, do you see how that's a mm-hmm. trauma? Because I still think of that as like, all right. I mean, I get how it, yeah. it interferes with some shit. Right, that's, that's, I think that's really I think the that's all the trauma yeah. cards are. Oh, right, yeah. Stuff yeah. Um, yeah. And, and now, um, Addison, you get to either look at one of his face-down ones or ask any question you want, and he will answer it, honestly. He's the answer. Oh, Mark's trust. Uh, they look at one of your face down cards. They answer the question. Yeah. So you can ask him any question you want. Okay. Or you can look at one or of his Or look cards. at one of his Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Where did you get that shirt? Where did I get this shirt? Yeah. Um, Interesting. 
Oh, uh, yeah, so he'll just kind of reveal his past, I guess. Oh, is that, does that trigger it? No. Well, you, you gotta trigger the past. Part. Okay. The trauma um, you can do whenever you okay. want Okay, so then he'll, he'll just, he'll describe his past, though not use the thing. Well, if you can trigger it. He's got to, he's got to, yeah, he's got to answer it honestly, and yeah. apparently this is related to his past. Like, oh, I think he'll just say, like, I had been, he's like, oh, I used to be a lawyer. Ah. Like, I used to be a lawyer. I was literally, I, like, I literally ended up at the, uh, at the hospital from, like, uh, like, we had left whatever the, like, the county courthouse was essentially evacuated, ah. and they brought everybody to the hospital, and it was essentially in the middle of the work day. Mm. And so he got brought there, and so no wonder there's all I those have, all uh, those different people. I have, uh, I have, I have, I have thought that you were a man of learning from the from the second I met you. Well, I appreciate it. I don't know, how, I don't know how much useful it is anymore, but <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't get the pants to go with it. As you can see, these are not exactly uh, I think not that, exactly uh, my cut. I, I know that I know that she's been through some some tough times, but I really think that that Yao is uh, she's going to shine. Uh, you know, real bright. Uh, if we if we all if we all stand behind her, and uh, I think uh, I think we need to we need to get on getting that uh, getting onto this conversation about the bunker. Yeah, and I, I think before you answer, I think <laughs> we then cut over to these folks. Okay, mm-hmm. so um, so I think Troy and Margo, Margo. Yeah, I think Margo. Uh, it's Margarot, Margarote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Margo Martindale. I Miss think, Samuel. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are kind of going out into that the field that we saw from the opening scene. Mm-hmm. Where these, these, we saw these two zombies. I think now there's like four. They're just kind of like wandering around uh, like in different directions. But um, I think specifically this like well out here, like maybe you pass that, it's like, you know, go right or left to the zombies or to this. And I think um, one of these zombies are just like Futzing around near this uh, mm. well, and she, um, Margot's. And I think she does have a gun, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, although we have a scarcity of guns. weapons, so she might mm. have one of the only so guns. So she has one of the only guns. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Sandy also has a, a rifle. I think this is the Kirby. Kirby, Kirby's got a rifle. Yeah. So, um, she have one. She has a sickle. Well, so it's a good world. Um. Yeah, I think she kind of just takes her handgun out and just kind of like does the, the sweet action thing, like thing, and just like, all right, we um, we better take care of that over there, pointing at the well. Zombie Farms is a production of This American Dice. It's a game by Brandon Conway. Our cast today was Trevor as Addison, Brandon as Troy, and Austin as Cook. Our game master was David. Join us for another exciting episode of Zombie Farms on This American Dice. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to our podcast, This American Dice. And for every five-star rating we get, we'll read it on air. See you soon. All right. Anyway, the Zyrtec has made you more bold than normal. Yeah. <laughs> so high on Zyrtec. Take your hand off my thigh. <laughs> Which one? Uh, <laughs>